Welcome back. This is Dan Heavey with another AI quick tip. And I got two images here. I started looking at them. I thought, gee, I wonder what's on the sides of these images. I wonder what would happen if I blew both of these up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop, um, well, I'm actually going to drop both of them eventually into Photoshop and do the generative expand on there. But then I'm also going to do the panning inside of Midjourney to uh, make the uh, picture bigger and see which ones of these are better images. So let's go back into Discord and close that. And so here was the four panels. We got a couple big giant ogres in the bottom one there. I was just grabbing a prompt that somebody had over on the Midjourney Explorer site. And so what I did initially is I upscaled both of these and then I said upscale creative on both of them. And then I got down here and I was like, oh, that's right. Once I do an upscale on this, we can't do the panning anymore on it. So we're going to, what I'm going to do is take, uh, download these two images and use those in Photoshop. And then we'll come up here and we will pan on these other two in order to make them bigger as well. So in order to get this into Photoshop, we got to go here to web and have it open this up and then we're going to click on download button and let's do that again and so now just download it twice and so what i can do is i can open it up in uh the folder that it's in is being my downloads folder now and is that going to open up let me see i got that page already open there that folder so they're taking their sweet time getting uploaded and so here is the image and all I got to do is right click on this and say open with Photoshop and it'll open it up in Photoshop for me. And the first thing I want to do is grab the cropping tool that already appeared on here and let's pull this up to the oops let's pull this up to the top of the image. For some reason my computer is acting up and let's pull this down to the bottom of the image. And now let's click on that little checkbox right there. And it should just give me the image itself. And then we can start cropping it after that. Nope, it didn't do exactly what I wanted. And that was actually kind of on accident there. I guess I didn't realize that that extra area I did there was going to generatively fill in on its own. So that was pretty quick. Essentially one, one or two mistakes uh, on my steps there, and I accidentally created what I was looking for. So that's pretty interesting. So now let's uh, click back in here so we can uh, come over here to our generative expand, and we can, uh, let's see, let me just turn this off so you can see what we had before. So now we have that and we can always regenerate this to see what else we can come up with. I guess there were two other versions there. We can look at those here in a second as well. I just had lost that little window on the screen to be able to go easily back and forth between all of them. So, and that window is still not appearing. So we can just come over here and we can click on this little icon right here and it will give us more versions over on the right hand side. So we can just click through them. And for some reason, everything's acting slowly. So yeah, I mean, all this down here looks kind of garbled. Uh, let's see what this one looked like. This was the first one. Yeah, I'm not really sure why those towers are there like that, but you know, I guess so. I mean, it's an interpretation and they all appear to have just those kind of towers on them. Okay, so that's all quite interesting. I'm not uh, really excited about any of these versions. And so we'll look at that. All right, so this here is example number one. Now let's go grab that other image and do the same uh, with that one. So we'll come back in here. Again, we'll do the same thing. We'll open this up on the web version of it. Then we will come over here and we will download this, find it in our downloads folder. And then we will just move it straight away by right clicking open with Adobe Photoshop and we'll open up a new <coughs> new file inside of Adobe Photoshop. So right away already here it says a generative expand. I had missed that this box was down there the first time. So let's do exactly the same thing and we'll just pull this up to the top and drop it there and we'll do the same thing down to the bottom. And then we will click on generate. That's what I should have done the first time. I'm not quite sure what happened. I guess I checked the, uh, the checkbox at the top the first time. And that's what did it. So let me pause for a second. Okay, so here is what we get. Here is version number one. And let's see. 
Come on, go to number two. My computer's running real slow here. Here's number two. Does it look much different than number one? I guess so, especially over here. We got the, yeah, there's definitely a clear difference there. And then let's see, let's go to number three. We can also go to number three down here at the bottom. So there's three different versions. Let's generate this one more time. So let's take a look at this here and we'll just flip through all of them. So there's one, two, three, a little bit further back feeling on that one, four, five, and six. So let's do this now. Let's pause and let's go back in. Well, I guess I don't need to pause right now. So we're going to go back into mid journey and we're going to go through the process of uh, essentially expanding, doing an expansive fill in here. So we got to come back up here to before we had upscaled them. And all we're going to do is we're going to do right and left panning here because I don't believe that these, yeah, none of these got any taller, just went side to side on the images. So all I'm going to do is stick to my right and left panning on these images and see what I can come up with. So I will pause and show you the result because this could probably, it could take 10 minutes, who knows, to make this all happen, which is one of the things that's so nice about Photoshop is it gets it done quickly, but I want to see if mid-journey gives me a better looking result. Okay, now the nice thing here, it does give you four different versions to pick on or pick from. So let's uh, open this in the browser even just to see this as big as we possibly can. So we got kind of a village over here. Here we've got nothing. Here we got some sort of maybe even an aqueduct or something. And here we just got rocks. So, and this one here's got a banner down the front of it. Here's, we got some banners. Um, I think I'm going to stick with this one here and see what we can do. I will expand then uh, to the left and then I also to the right. But let's start with this one on the bottom right. And each time we get to choose then which one we want to use. So we are going to then go here and upscale on four. And then in this case here, I'm going to go to the left. And I don't know why my machine starts beeping like that when I turn this on sometimes. Maybe it's saying I've run out of fast credits or something, but I think I still have hours left. Okay, so what it did is it completely reimagined this picture. Let me show you the blown up version here of the original. And we had this rock wall right there. Well, it got rid of that rock wall in all four of these versions and turned that into a tower. So that's pretty cool, and that's something that the other didn't do. I guess, I guess it did leave the rock wall right here but it uh, gave us matching sides left and right, and we got the, basically our legions come walking in. So either way, this is a pretty cool picture, and they're all pretty much the same. These guys got a lot more shields. So I think I'm going to go with version 4 again on this one. You got the flag here hanging down. It's kind of torn and tattered, but I guess they all are. So <clears throat> let me go with version version four on that so we're going to go to uh, we're going to take four and we're going to go left and right one more time so we'll come in here and we will go to the right and i will pause this and that way you don't have to listen to that beeping so here is the final four in here, and you're going to see, obviously, there's, there's no doubt at all that these pictures are so much better than this over here, any version of this over here. So um, there's no sense in me doing the second one. But um, also, what I did then is, so I came in here and I said, okay, well, I like number one the best. So I clicked on you for the uh, upscale, and so I'll just show you that image here as well. So here it is with the upscale, but we still have this issue right in here. And I was thinking, okay, well, what I'm going to have to do is either do the vary the region to clean that up, or I can take it once I've done uh, upscaling it, drop it into Photoshop and then clean that out. Well, here's what happens then. So I hit on upscale creative and now let's see what this looks like on the web and we'll blow this up. You see here, it cleaned itself up. 
He took that out, put a tower right in its place, and I think this looks great. The uh, look got to be a little bit too cartoonish, and I think that's because I did the upscale creative. So let's just try the upscale subtle real quick, and then we'll be done here. So what I did here is I had the upscale creative. I also did now one of upscale subtle. So let me show you those. So here was the upscale creative that we already showed. And then here is the upscale subtle. So again, like I said, this one here starts, uh, well, I don't know which one I like better. I'd have to have to look at them pretty closely. I guess here, if you look here in the buildings, the brick, it looks more like it's uh, mud washed on the outside on here. And then this here is you got much more refinement in the brick. So either one is very good. But then something else you can do in here is you can do very subtle and very strong. So let me show you here. This was, um, let me see here. This one was the very, that's, uh, I forget now which one was which. Let me come down here to the bottom and see if I can tell. Um, okay, so this one here is subtle and that would be this one here so this here is subtle variations on it and then again you can come in and you could upscale these as well if you decided you liked uh, one of these versions much better and then here is the variation strong and you can see they're definitely uh, completely removed the buildings and rethought reimagined all of that completely so it is amazing what you can do start with a simple prompt and create an entire world within uh, i just did all this in 11 minutes so if you got any questions let me know